So how badly are you into it? Well, I like it. I like the effect of it, anyway. I've not had any in here, though, so it's not like I'm shaking and gibbering anymore. Well, the real test will be when you get out, won't it? And I'll be there, whatever you need. I need you to give yourself a break. That's why, you know, I said I'd tie your stuff last time. You told me a few things, don't worry about that. Yeah, I know. It was easier to do that than admit I've got a problem. It's done now. I don't want to keep secrets. Steve says do one thing at a time, one step at a time. Like, I don't want to drink and I want to do well at this school stuff. That's good news. I don't want to be left behind. And for the sake of one year dotting around, I don't want to look back in 70 and think, if only. Do you think you'll pass your exams? Don't know. So you reckon I might just scrape through? I mean, you can take them again, though. I've actually put some work in and build a future, whatever. <laughs> I don't know where this attitude has come from, but I like it. Yeah, well, it's not going to come overnight, and that's OK. Steve says there's this really weird Japanese phrase, you fall down seven times, get up eight. Which doesn't make sense, because surely if you fall down seven times, you only need to get up. Seven times. <laughs> Sounds like Steve's got it all worked out. Yeah. Not gonna have a Steve on the outside, though, am I? All right. Where's your betrothed? Um, this would live. She's agreed to see him. Well, that's more good news. Chaz, come here. It, it wasn't so much that she's agreed to see him as it was that he was called in. She's been fighting. But he's, he's still coming here, isn't he? Ah, you tricked you. Never a dull moment. Yeah, she's much better, more positive anyway. She's talking about her future and everything. Well, that's great. I mean, you can make a mistake and still have a bright one. <laughs> well, that's what this bow's been telling her, the counsellor. Well, he's a wiser man. Yeah, apparently. Except he's in there, and he not out here, so when she does come out... <sighs> what does he do, this bloke? He just talks to her, you know, helps with the school stuff and keeps her positive. Well, I've been known to talk, and I know a bit about school stuff. Oh, no, Doug, I wasn't hitting for you. No, it'd be a pleasure. I mean, look at Jerry. I've tried to steer him right. <laughs> yeah, well, if you see him today before I do, you just remind him that today is a work day. He seems to have forgotten again. I will, and I'll get some books and some bits and pieces together for when Liv gets back. That's amazing. Thanks, Doug. You back? So what's the drama? Well, she got herself into a fight, so I get called in. Turns out she wanted to see me after all. But we had a good chat, and she seems to have got her head sorted. So that's you sorting out Liv, and there's me changing Seb's nappy at lunch without him weeing all over my face <laughs> and pulling up the wall. I think that's cause for a celebration. Uh, party, you mean? No, I, night away, I mean. If you're up for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, good, because I booked it. Wow. Parents slash legal guardians of the year. <laughs> we should run a foster home or something. <laughs> I think we've got enough kids in our lives, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Do you? <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, anyway, you should get in there fast, cos uh, Paddy's convinced himself the world will end if you don't. Is there anyone that can cope without me? Well, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs>